a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Erica Badu. Erica Abbey Wright, known professionally as Erica Badu, is an American singer-songwriter, record producer, disc jockey, activist, and actress. Badu's career began after opening a show for D'Angelo in 1994 in Fort Worth. Record label executive Kada Massenberg was highly impressed with her performance and signed her to Kada Entertainment. Her first album, Barduism, was released on February 11, 1997. It spawned three singles, On and On, Next Lifetime, and Other Side of the Game. The album was certified triple platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. Badass' first live album, Live, was released on November 18, 1997 and was certified double platinum by the RIAA. Badu is hailed as the queen of neo-soul. Badass' second studio album, Mama's Gun, was released on October 31, 2000. It spawned three singles. Bag Lady, which became her first top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100 peaking at, didn't char no and, clever, the album was certified platinum by the RIAA. Badass' third album, Worldwide Underground, was released on September 16, 2003. It generated three singles, Love of My Life, Danger, and, Back in the Day, with Love becoming her second song, to reach the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at. The album was certified gold by the RIAA. Badass' fourth album, New America Part 1, was released on February 26, 2008. It spawned two singles, Honey, and, Soldier. New America Part 2 was released in 2010, and fared well both critically and commercially. It contained the album's lead single, Window Seat, which led to controversy. Influenced by R&B, 1970s soul, and 1980s hip-hop, Bardu became associated with the neo-soul subgenre in the 1990s along with artists like D'Angelo. Her work has often been compared to jazz great Billie Holiday. Early in her career, Bardu was recognizable for her eccentric style, which often included wearing very large and colorful head wraps. She was a core member of the Soul Quarians. As an actress, she has played a wide range of supporting roles in movies including Blues Brothers 2000, The Cider House Rules and House of D. She also speaks, at length in the documentaries Before the Music Dies and the Black Power Mixtapes. Early Life Erica Badu was born Erica Abbey Wright in Dallas, Texas. Her mother raised her, her brother Evan, and her sister Nero Cologne after separating from their father, William Wright Jr. to provide for her family. The children's maternal and paternal grandmothers often helped look after them. Bardu had her first taste of show business at the age of four, singing and dancing at the Dallas Theatre Center and the Black Academy of Arts, and letters under the guidance of her godmother, Gwen Hargrove, and Uncle Tbal founder Curtis King. By the age of 14, Bardu was freestyling for a local radio station alongside such talent as Roy Hargrove. In her youth, she had decided to change the spelling of her first name from Erica to Erica, as she believed her original name was a slave name. The term, Ka, signifies the inner self. She adopted the surname, Badu, because it is her favorite jazz scat sound. Also, among the Arkan people in Ghana, it is the term for the tenth born child. Upon graduating from Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts, Bardu went on to study theater at Grambling State University, a historically black university. To concentrate on music full-time, she left the university in 1993 before graduating, and took several minimum wage jobs to support herself. She taught drama and dance to children at the South Dallas Cultural Center. Working and touring with her cousin, Robert Free Bradford, she recorded a 19-song demo, Country Cousins, which attracted the attention of Kada Massenberg. He set Bardu up to record a duet with D'Angelo, Your Precious Love, and eventually signed her to a record deal with Universal Records. Barduism and Live, 1997-99 Barduism, Badass debut album, was released in early 1997. The album met with critical and commercial success, debuting at number two on the Billboard charts and number one on the US Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop albums. Baduism's commercial and critical success helped establish Badu as one of the emerging neo-soul genre's leading artists. 
Her particular style of singing drew many comparisons to Billie Holiday. Barduism was certified three times platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, gold by the British Phonographic Industry and the Canadian Recording Industry Association. The album produced four singles. The lead single, On and On, was released in January 1996, and reached number 12 on the US Billboard Hot 100 charts and the UK Singles charts, as well as making an appearance on the New Zealand charts. The album and lead single also gave Bardu her first nomination and win at the Grammy Awards, where, on and on, won Best Female R&B Vocal Performance, and the album won Best R&B Album. Bardu recorded her first live album, Live, while pregnant with Seven, and the release of the recording coincided with his birth. The album was released on November 18, 1997 and reached number 4 on the US Billboard 200 and number 1 on the US Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums. The album was certified two times platinum by RIAA for shipments of over 2 million copies. The album's lead single, Tyrone, was released in October 1997 and became another R&B hit single. Tyrone, lyrically, is a song chiding a selfish, cheap, and inattentive boyfriend. Bardu also collaborated with The Roots on their breakthrough 1999 release Things Fall Apart. She was featured on the song, You Got Me, by The Roots, and American female rapper Eve. Company written by Jill Scott, the song peaked at 39 in the US and 31 in the UK. The song went on to win The Roots and Bardu a Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance by a Duo or Group in 1999. Mama's Gun and Worldwide Underground, 2006. After taking some time off to raise her child, Bardu returned in 2000 with Mama's Gun. The album was characterized as more organic in sound than her previous studio album, and primarily produced by the Soulquarians and noted bassist Pino Palladino. A remix of one of the album's songs, Bag Lady, was issued as the first single and topped the R&B charts for seven weeks. The album was well received, with the lyrical content winning notices from many publications. Reviewers found some of her lyrics hard to decipher on her initial releases. Despite not charting as high as her first two albums, Mama's Gun was another platinum-selling success, and Bag Lady was nominated for a Grammy Award. By 2000, Bardu was in a romantic relationship with fellow Soulquary in common. The two released Love of My Life as a collaboration on the Brown Sugar soundtrack. Love of My Life hit on the pop charts, topped the R&B listings, and in 2003 Bardu was awarded her fourth Grammy Award for it. In 2001 Bardu embarked on the Mama's Gun World Tour. The tour started in North America on February 10 in Cleveland, Ohio at the Allen Theatre. Bardu will perform two nights in Washington DC and Chicago. The tour itinerary will continue with additional dates throughout the summer in Europe and the US after the release of Mama's Gun and Love of My Life, Bardu suffered writer's block. On September 16, 2003, she released her third studio album, Worldwide Underground. The album was more jam-oriented than any of her prior releases, and Bardu said that the album was designed to as one continuous groove. Upon its release Worldwide Underground met with some criticism for its loose, unconventional structure and songwriting. But the album received generally positive reviews from critics. Commercially the album fared well and debuted at number 3 on the US Billboard 200 chart in the week of October 4, 2003, selling 143,561 copies in its first week. Ultimately spending 11 weeks on the Billboard 200, it also entered at number 2 on Billboard's top R&B slash hip-hop albums and spent 30 weeks on the chart. By December 2003, the album had sold 394,000 copies domestically. On October 28, 2003, Worldwide Underground was certified gold in sales by the Recording Industry Association of America, following sales in excess of 500,000 copies in the United States. According to Nielsen Sound Scan, the album has sold 609,000 copies in the United States. Its first single, Love of My Life, peaked at number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100 and at number 1 on the Hot R&B slash Hip Hop Songs chart. The second single, Danger, reached number 82 on the Hot 100, 
and number 27 on the Hot R&B slash Hip Hop songs, while the third single, Back in the Day, peaked at number 62 on the Hot R&B slash Hip Hop songs chart. Badu received four further Grammy nominations for the album. She also contributed to Zap Mama's album Mancestry in Progress, adding her vocals to the track, Bandy Bandy. Badu embarked on the Worldwide Underground Tour in 2004. The U.S. trek kicked off February 3rd in New Orleans, and ran through the winter and spring with supporting act Floatry joining the tour February 5th in Houston. The Roots made a special opening act appearance at the February 11th show in Los Angeles. Badu resumed the tour during the fall, with additional dates in America and Europe. In 2005, she was a judge for the fourth annual Independent Music Awards, to support independent artists' careers. Badu co-founded the Sugar Water Festival with Queen Latifah and Jill Scott. The trek played to amphitheaters and arenas in the United States during the summer of 2005 and 2006. It began in 2005 as an event to bring awareness to health issues to African American women. British duo Float reopened shows during the 2005 run. The festival was relaunched briefly in 2006, with Khalees opening the show and comedian Monique hosting the festival. 2006 was its final year. The festival had plans to expand into Europe and Asia, but this did not come to fruition. The summer tour was a concert tour in 2006 by Bardu. The tour started on June 10, in Knoxville, Tennessee, with three shows in the US and resumed in July for several shows in Europe. Badu co-headlined on dates in August with Jill Scott and Queen Latifah at the Sugar Water Festival. New America Part 1, 2007-09 After receiving her first computer as a Christmas gift, Badu began communicating with and receiving music from Quest Love, Q-Tip and Jay Diller, among others. She later began to use her laptop as a mini-recording studio to construct various backing tracks for songs, which led to the album's primary recording sessions at Electric Lady Studios in New York City. In 2007 Bardu was said to have three albums in the works, for release during 2007 and 2008. Honey, a new single produced by Ninth Wonder, was leaked online in November 2007. The fourth studio album, New America Part 1, was released by Universal Motown Records, in the United States on February 26, 2008. Badu's 37th birthday, it was released in European countries on February 29th, in Australia and the United Kingdom on March 3rd, and in Japan on March 12th. Both Japanese and Australian editions contain the bonus track, Real Thing. The album's digital release on the iTunes store featured the songs, Tumbling Dice Remix, as a bonus track. New America Part 1 was also released as a double vinyl LP on March 11th, and on USB stick format. The album's lead single, Honey, was released on December 11, 2007. It reached number 88 on the US Billboard Hot 100, on which it spent three weeks. The song also charted at number 22 and spent 17 weeks on the Hot R&B slash Hip Hop songs. Upon release New America Part 1 received universal acclaim from critics. In the United States, the album debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 chart, selling 125,000 copies in its first week. It was Badu's best opening week since her debut album Baduism in 1997. It also entered at number two on the Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop albums. According to Nielsen Soundscan, New America Part 1 sold 359,000 copies in the United States by early 2010. Erica Badu performed at the 10th Annual Voodoo Experience in New Orleans the weekend before Halloween 2008. In the United Kingdom, the album charted at number 55 on the UK Albums Chart, on which it spent one week. In France, it debuted at number 49 and spent 11 weeks on the French Albums Chart. In Switzerland, it debuted at number 10 and spent six weeks on the Swiss Albums Top 100. In the Netherlands, the album entered at number 25, and spent seven weeks on the Mega Album Top 100. In Poland, it reached number 9 and spent eight weeks on the Polish Albums Chart. The album's highest international charting was number 5 in Sweden, where it charted for seven weeks. During 2008 and 2009 Bardu embarked on two world tours. The Vortex Tour was a tour in support of New America Part 1. 
the U.S. Tour kicked off May 4 in Detroit, Michigan, ending on June 15 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The second leg of tour reached Europe on June 25 in Copenhagen, Denmark. Bardu toured across Europe playing shows that included an itinerary for the month of July. Several more shows were added throughout August in the U.S. The Jam Tour was a summer music concert tour in 2009. The tour started in March. Bardu played dates across North America twice and Europe, and the tour ended in Dallas, Texas on October 16. During the second U.S. leg, Bardu was featured as a special guest co-headliner on hip-hop artist Moss Def's Ecstatic Tour on select September dates. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?